Kwiatkowski followed by back row. Dolphy, Massimo Romeo and Hugh Sam making huge strides up the grid so far. Knack track, Spike then just overtaking Booth and then Silvara and Sidera. Uh, King Bart in the McLaren. We're then just seeing on your screen there Massimo Romeo, the only Ferrari driver taking Bart today. And now Spike sweeping around the outside of Booth there, uh, maintaining their position and now having a great launch and getting up no, to the They will not as they head through uh, the Variante Alta and down towards the Rivazza now. Uh, King Bart is now entering Ravazza. Nat Track making a move, I believe. Too. Yeah, Nat Track has. Track is indeed 16 lap sprint qualifying here. And uh, we've now got, uh, look at this, Red Bull and Alpine side by side. And that is back row versus Dolphy, I think. And yes, uh, Dolphy has been able to take that position. And up into P4 they go. Remember, of course, no you points. Went. Awful lot of damage and disservice in the main race, of course. Uh, so then we have back row now firing up the hill but their teammate behind uh, in ninth place is who we're looking at at the moment they are chasing down after Hugh Sam Hugh Sam goes a bit wide there and uh, now uh, in ninth place is who we're looking at at the moment they are chasing down after Hugh Sam Hugh Sam goes a bit wide there and uh, now as they head back down the hill into the Piratella and up to and oh sorry Ackerman Mineral and up to, and oh sorry Ackerman Minerale I should say and that's oh back row back row is round uh, so back row has gone round Hugh, uh, Hugh Sam has been overtaken by Spike and Silver Arrow is now interested in the back away from them start for uh, for Hugh Sam there and again another position lost that time Silver Arrow sweeping round the outside of the Aston Martin there and again you can see this is and an again you can see this is an example of this uh, this differing tyre compound doing wonderful work for these guys in the early part of the stint uh, for those on the softs at least and now as we see Dolphy lining up a move on Max Badowski, another instance of a soft tyre runner chasing after a medium tyre runner and uh, you have to think then whereabouts does that damage come from and is that the reason why uh, Hugh Sam was falling down the order quite so quickly compared to everybody else uh, so into the next part of the circuit they go yeah, though and as they come around the final couple of corners I think that it's only going to be enough formality here for uh, Dolphy they're going to open up that DRS there it goes that uh, wing there opening no more than 85 yeah, millimeters just keep it all nice and clean and calm and collected just come around these last couple of corners as they are and then onto that main start finish straight on board we go then with the Red Bull driver and just as I say that the medium shots Wax Patowski heads into the pits on lap 5 of 16 stay really tight to the left very defensive here into turn one will Finn go all the way around the outside oh. yes he did but then there's contact contact between the pair of them race uh, well not so far but uh, at this later stage of the race on brand new fresh tyres is the man just ahead of them Wat Batowski but we're looking at this battle further up at the front here Nat Track moves alongside and then past Luke up into P2 for the Alfa Romeo driver and, and as that is uh, them maintaining their lead so Nat Track has pitted so has King Bart and so has Sideras as well. Into the pits now comes one of the Alpines. It's back row. And uh, that is going to be of uh, a great relief, I think, to their we team. Imagine be pitting were... this lap, if not in the next lap or two after that. Uh, definitely stretching out their tyres, hoping for a safety car, you might have to think. Here, Wachmatowski gets a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Wachmatowski gets a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Uh, another driver with multiple warnings and having received a penalty is now in the pits, and that's Luke. Luke pits, and that allows Silver Arrow to be released now into King Bart up ahead. So you have to think here that Sideras is going to be able to get their teammate here. Not bad for a reserve driver. Uh, up from the back of the grid, now up to P8, and that potentially yeah, P7. Uh, they're into the pits. Can you tell them a bit rusty? Uh, so into the pits goes Silver Arrow then, taking their nine lap old soft tyres off the car now and onto a fresh set. Mike will me. defend. Let's have a look and see here. So we've got the Red Bull now alongside and past. Luke takes an easy move there down the start finish straight. We've got Silver Arrow coming out the pits just ahead of us here. It's going to get a bit larry possibly. Oh, they're coming around the final turn now. And uh, now on the back of Spike. Spike then powerless to defend from the Alfa Romeo who swoops around there outside and now to their inside as they head down towards the Tamburello corner. Line, uh, over the course of this season and then have a proper go at it again in season five. But as things are at the moment then, uh, we've got the uh, these two fighting very close on. Oh, is that on the on the side of the road? I think that was uh, back row. Back row there. Well, I remember was leading this race all the way back in P7, just ahead of his teammate. So undercuts definitely paying off. Silver Arrow putting pressure on Spike right now down the main straight. Enough pressure that Spike has cracked, in fact. So uh, that's another easy DRS pass. Uh, if you have not been able to build up a sufficient gap, uh, Sideris then has the DRS open and uh, is chasing down after Spike. Spike defending once more, but the soft tyre rubber just swoops round the outside there into Tamburello. A good opportunity to get this move done and potentially even offset, uh, upset rather the Red Bull enough, which will open them to attack from Silver Arrow just behind. Nat Track goes up into P2. It's an Alfa Romeo 1-2 at the moment. 
here in MLS. And it hasn't happened either for Sideros, but for their teammate, it might well do. Up the inside goes Hugh Sam, and no, the McLaren of Booth just swings around the outside of them. Just defends beautifully. Then happen. goes uh, the Arthur Emrea and the Red Bull still fighting one another. And uh, you have to think as well that Nactrack is just doing a massive favor uh, for their teammate here because it opens up the DRS, swings by Nactrack. Nactrack shouldn't really have to worry about that too much as, of course, the Red Bull is carrying those time penalties. We're on the final lap now. And uh, there we are then, very close between Silver Arrow and Sideras. These guys very, very close on circuit. And now to the inside goes Sideras. Silver Arrow will not defend, but they will swing it all the way around the outside full credit to them there through the variante Villeneuve and now into Tosa they penalize drivers get it but as things are then coming across the line to finish first on the road is Ratapatowski followed by Luke but then taking pole position is Natchak Natchak takes that position and Ratapatowski actually able to out drag Silver Arrow oh, Bay. that's fantastic teamwork absolutely brilliant stuff from those guys then so uh, we've got 